Hello. Hello. Hello, Julia. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Are you in Odessa? Uh, yes, of course, I'm in Odessa. <laughs> okay, are when, are going, yeah. when are you going to start studying at university? Oh, my study, to, uh, my study started on 12th of uh, August. 12th August. Well, but it's the 24th of August right now. Yeah. Oh, you start, started? Started? Start, yes. yes. Oh, my God. So right now you're a student of the fourth course, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my God! The twelfth of August. Do you have online lectures uh, or offline? Yes, we have only online lectures, and uh, we ha we will have online practice. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, everything is everything is online, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Michael. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. What is it? Is it a bruise or what? Or I'm mistaken? Yeah? Uh, no, I think I just no? slept. Quite it, it, it's like uh, everything is okay, yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what? what? <laughs> What's this? So, maybe it's the light. Because of the light, it's yeah. there. So, yeah. how are you? How are you doing? What news do you have? Uh, well, my study started uh, like a week ago. Uh, mm -hmm. so this Monday. What grade are you in? Uh, it's not a grade, so it's like a uh, course for um, course. How can I say of it? A, of I German know. or what? Or at uh, college, no, university? We're what starting, is it? We're starting in the college, but we're starting uh, physics, chemistry, mathematics, and oh uh, German. God. And yeah. uh, after this course, I can study at university. Uh, okay, and do you have physics and chemistry in German? Yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god, it's so difficult, really, in German. Uh, I thought oh. it, it will be difficult, but uh, it's okay. It's pretty interesting. It's uh, mm -hmm. such a new experience for me, and uh, yeah, I like it. Oh, that's great. Oh my god, you're so clever. <laughs> that's great. So, uh, and after that, you will go to university, right? No. Yep. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's your level of uh, German? Uh, German... It's like B1, sure. B2, C1, C2, what is it? I, I have B2 for sure. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe I have C1, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe you're very close to C1, yep. right? Yeah, so. so... Yeah, okay. How long, how long have you been living in Germany? How many years? Um, two and a half years, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. And what about your parents? Uh, German language? Uh, what level do well, they have? They have B2, but uh, they always talking that they have only A2 or maybe <laughs> A1. And, yeah. yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah, okay, Michael. Thank you so much for filling the questionnaire. I really appreciate it. I read everything. Thank okay. you, Julia. Please fill in the questionnaire when yes. you are free. Okay, uh, okay. I will send it to you. I forgot. <laughs> Okay, thank you. It will really help me to understand what to give you, what to help you with, how to teach. I'm an experienced teacher, but who knows? Yeah, uh, improvement never uh, never stops. So, <laughs> so okay. About Alina, she told me that she's not going to come. But what about Danny? He last time he texted that he's in Bulgaria. Uh, so I don't know where he is right now. So guys. Today we have a test, but it not will be a test, we'll do it together. Uh, it's like a little revision what we started, because today we are finishing unit, uh, that unit, and we are going to start the new one, the sixth one. So, let's do it. So don't worry if you don't remember, it's okay. We'll do it together. Okay, uh, look at this one. Uh, here we've got, what about these sentences? Are they negative or affirmative? Look at it, never before. And so it's negative. No way. negative and second negative. negative two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, negative. And we need to complete them uh, with the words in brackets, but be attentive with the grammar, what grammar it is. 
Let's try to do that. Uh, Michael, what is number one? Let's do it. Uh, never before have we mm -hmm. such a big party, uh, such a yeah. big family party at Christmas. Mm -hmm. But look at it. First, after never before, we put the verb, uh, auxiliary verb. Have, have we, we had. had. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come on. Such a no big family before party. Have we had such a big family party at Christmas. It's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Julia, number two. Um, in a way, yeah. You because may read. You believe uh, anything believe my cousin? My cousin says uh, he's a big liar. Mm -hmm. In no way, have you believed? Uh, have no, you believed? it will be like uh, тебе не следует верить. Ни в коем случае тебе не следует верить. It's like recommendation. What will we say like следует? Should uh, you should believe? Uh, yeah. Should who? You? you should should you? you be believe? Uh, yeah, believe. Come on. Anything, Anything my, cousin? my cousin says he is a big liar. Exactly. Number three, uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. Rarely... Get familiar Look at it, to meet up in my experience it focuses only on special occasions that I see my cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, rarely do familiars get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Families get. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, it's okay, right. Uh, Julia, four. Um, at no time be we any danger during the trip. Everything was organized uh, really well. In no time, at at no time, at no time, uh, did we? Uh, we had the verb to be in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, were we? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Were we, we in, in any danger during the trip? Everything was organized really well. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Michael. Five. Excellent. Um, hardly. Read it. We, we walk out. out. Sorry, Hadley? Uh, have uh, we walked out? Mm, no, date, not, not have, but you're date. very close to it. Look at it. The second part is past simple. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, this part happened a little earlier in the past. Oh, so maybe had we walked? Had. Yeah. Oh, okay. Had we gone? Had we walked out of the airport when a big white limousine arrived? It was Uncle Dave and he had come to pick us. Yeah, pick us and we have a limousine. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And now this one, look at it. It's the same task like the negative form. Uh, what you need to use? You need to use the negative form correct auxiliary verb. So everything is good, but uh, not so good. But be attentive. Negative and auxiliary form. Uh, let's try. Uh, Julia, you start. Why? Can. Mm. Uh, why can't to you, sister, for once? Okay, I will try, but she really annoys me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. um, negative. How to say mm -hmm. negative? Why? Uh, why did no 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 with why we have why and a word that uh, consists of three three letters uh, uh, uh why not uh, why not why not <laughs> and look at it uh, we have kind that's why what auxiliary verb uh, kind have no no the verb to be why not uh, why be? Uh, not be kind to your sister for once okay mm -hmm. i will try but she is she really annoys me yeah that's okay michael uh, i have a question to the first one can we say yeah. so why don't you try to be kind why don't you try but look at it uh it's okay really it's a good try but we don't have try here Mm -hmm. Yeah, if so, we had so, the yeah. word try in brackets, like in the first one, yeah, mm -hmm. it will be fine. But here, just nothing. <laughs> you need to use what you have. But mm -hmm. your option is really cool. Yeah, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay. two. I'm sorry mm -hmm. about the one you arrived. That's okay. Melissa showed us to our rooms. I'm mm -hmm. sorry about. Uh... 
negative. You arrive. No, negative. Like in the first sentence. Look okay. at the first sentence. I'm sorry about not being there. Yeah, right. not being. Yeah, and we have been because about not being there. there. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's difficult, but we do revision. That's okay. Julia, go on. Um, Read it. Uh, we meet. Um, we meet on holiday last year. Year, yes, I think we did. Uh, when Negative sent. No, 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 no. Not when. We don't have the verb now. Mm -hmm. Uh, when but we have the verb did make didn't, a negative question yes didn't, didn't? we met uh, on hold didn't we met on holiday last year didn't we meet on the app didn't we, we meet, meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. excellent thank you michael your turn uh won't it be more polite to let your friends eat some cake before you take a piece for yourself well yes i guess so okay mm -hmm. i'll get some round and if you are very polite, wouldn't not well, wouldn't yes exactly mm -hmm. yeah capital letter of course and Julia the last one. It's important. Uh, left behind in race. I agree. You must. Um, you must try to keep uh, up with, with others. It's important. Not to le uh, left behind in not the race. To... Просто так мы же left не можем залишити. Not mm -hmm. to... to try. Не бути. Not to... to be. Not to be. Not to be left to be behind the race. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, guys. Now look at it. This one is a lot easier. You just, uh, I think, it's. It will be crystal clear for you and it will be easy peasy, really. Uh, so what you need to do, you just need to read and choose the correct option. Yeah, so that was difficult, <laughs> but this one is okay. Uh, and you will do it by yourself. So guys, wait for me. Yeah, okay, like, yeah, oh, we have it. So, Michael, you're the first here in my list. That's why, Michael, you are the first. Is for you, uh, Julia. This one is for you. So, guys, you have a minute or two minutes. Just read and do it. If you don't know, miss it and then come back. Okay? Choose the correct option. I'm waiting. Let's go. A minute or two. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah? Okay. Many. Mm. Uh, Julia. Okay, Michael, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Julia, uh, have a quick look. We in in Ukrainian or in the Russian sentence we can say all right. У меня нет много времени. То есть у меня нет одно отрицание нет никакого времени, да? У меня нет никакого времени, допустим. Но в английском оно может. Да. Поэтому, но в английском повинно бути тільки одне заперечення, тобто одне negative verb. Якщо на же є don't, то друге нам не потрібно. I'll draw so any. Uh, go on there. Mm -hmm. There, yes. <laughs> okay, only a few. Only тільки декілька. A few, Julia. Вираз такий. Only a few. Чому не a few? Only a few – це тільки мало. А у нас тільки декілька. Michael, it's okay. Any, uh, any. Uh, uh. There, okay. <laughs> Let me see. All, yes, all, either, either, several, several. Excellent, guys. Good job. So, Michael, you've got 10 out of 10. Uh, Julia, you have uh, eight, yeah, out of 10. Okay, excellent, guys. Now, what you need to do this one, you will do together, you will uh, do, and you will together decide. What's the best option here? Okay, uh, look at it. Look at the words we have here. Uh, what you don't know, what you don't remember. Come on. Or it's okay. Look at number four. I mean, the, the words. Mm -hmm. Or it's clear. Everything is all right. I don't remember what neg is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, Julia, maybe you remember what is it, neg? Mm -hmm. 
I have a I have a thing, but I'm not sure. Oh, Neg, it, okay. uh, uh, Neg, it's in. It's a bit. It's a bad word. It's like uh, say yeah. something bad about you or uh, mm -hmm. no. No, no, no. Neck, it's like when you keep complaining about your life, about something you don't like it. Uh, this is it. You're nagging all the time. If we open, um, yeah, let me show you. Yeah. So, okay. Have a quick look. So, you complain often in an annoying way or you criticize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because you don't like it, it annoys you. Michael, read the example. Come on. Mm -hmm. My mom's always nagging me to get my hair cut. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia? If you stop nagging, nagging at me, I might actually do it. Mm -hmm. Michael? I'm always negative about this diet, his diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how can we translate neg? Наседать. So, ворчать. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. If you see like this one. Пилить, подержаться, ворчать, изводить, мучить. Наседать. Yeah, that is the same. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, and a lot of here. Yeah, but we need the verb. Or how will it be in Ukraine? Пыляты. Прискипывать. Okay. Uh, Ukrainian translation is it's not so good here, just in this one. Okay, what else? What about an oh no uh what about envy, Michael? What is it? Envy? Um uh, yeah. so I think it's um it's like when uh, someone has something that you don't have and mm -hmm. uh, you're thinking, ah, oh, I want it so bad, I want it so much, uh, and uh, he mm -hmm. has it he has yeah. it, I don't and, Ah, yeah, you're right. Great. Uh, and what adjective do we have? Envious. Envious, right. And there is one idiom with envy. Green with envy. Yeah, green with envy. Yes, you're right. Excellent. Um, admire, Julia. We have admire. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you know what it is. But tell me the equivalent with the phrasal verb. Admire. Mm -hmm. Look up to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Look up to. So, compliment. Okay, now everything is great. So, guys, you read it together. I don't uh, stop you. I don't disturb you. Uh, who wants to type? Julia or Michael, no matter. Discuss it together, okay? And I'm just looking and then I will tell you. It's okay or it's not okay. Guys, you have got two or three minutes. Come on, mm -hmm. start work. Uh, Michael, can you type? Mm, yeah, but I think it's easier for me. And I will okay. start. When I first okay. met Anna, I thought she Guys, would... Guys, and the... don't forget about the verb, yeah? It should be in past, maybe, uh -huh. or something else. Think about it. Look through the okay. whole this one. So, when I first met Anna, I thought she was the right girl for me. She had so many strong qualities. I really admired, maybe, the way she was so funny and confident with my friends. Uh... Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I really maybe I really, maybe it's like a pass or I really admire it the way she was so funny and confident with my friends. It's like about what I agree absolutely agree. No, okay. So I think it must be passed. Yes, I think so because we have was Okay, let's be admired. We can change. Mm -hmm. it. Uh, she always got uh, on with people, even with those she had nothing common at all. She had nothing common at all. I think she has nothing in common. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and so like this. Uh, some of her previous girlfriends were always telling me what to do, but I was never. How I how I should look or what I should I do by Anna? But I was never nagged, maybe. So definitely not complimented. Mm. Yeah, some of uh, uh, I guess. Uh, 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 what? I was not. 
I never nagging, maybe. I, ne I was never no, nagging. No, I, was, I was never nagged. It's not ne continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I was open appearance when I was with her. She would say, I like you, Jack. I or your hair looks nice, and that made me feel great. I was often complimented my appearance uh, when I was with her. So, okay, she never me or other people, and that's because she never thought she was better than anyone else. Uh, she never... She never... She never envied? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Uh how can I how can I type it? Okay. Um uh, Anna was very close with her uh fr sisters. I have never known three sisters with uh, such a strong pin between them. Uh, close to close with. Close with? Ah, okay. I yeah. Close with her sisters. Uh, as a result, I the fact that she wanted to spend time with her sisters and without me, even though that meant I didn't see her very much at weekends. As a result, I respect. I respect. I respect the fact that she mm -hmm. wanted to spend time. Mm -hmm. All my friends. Uh... I'm so old. Ah, okay. no. uh, we should have envy here for my friends. Yep. Um, because I have more trophies when for girls in the school, but of course, I didn't like I did that. So, all mm -hmm. friends envy. Mm -hmm. and then uh, she never looked down on, I think. Mm -hmm. Looked, uh -huh, uh, okay. looked down on maybe, maybe. Ready? Mm, I now think let's so. try to do that. About the word admired, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, this one, okay. Yeah, about common, it's also okay, but uh, look at it. Even, uh, yeah, she always got on with people, even with those she had nothing in common with with at all uh, yeah this is it it should be with at all yes so you're right uh next one about necked it's also okay but what preposition guys necked necked for no yeah, necked on no uh let me show necked about you. necked about yes oh. this is it we say we have to say necked about. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's something somewhere here. Yeah, go on. Compliment it. About. No. On. On. Yeah, complimented on. Oh, God. Okay, it is, <laughs> it is here. Yeah, number five. Yes, you are right. Uh, number six. Closed, uh, close, not with. Two? Close to your sisters, but about I with I, yeah, okay, I'm close to my sister, yeah. Uh, a simple, I um, respected, respected, and this one, a simple, uh, envied. Uh, envied, envied, yeah. That is envied. Okay, not so bad. Yeah, that's somewhat challenging. Thank you. Great. So let's go on. <laughs> the next one is. Uh, I think it's not will. It will not be very difficult because we remember the phrasal verbs. You remember them pretty well. We work a lot on them. So you have the verb. You need to make up uh, a phrasal verb from it. 
So phrasal verb, they usually consist of two or three or sometimes four words. Let's try to do number one together. Uh, Michael, Stella? Stella what? invented a story about a talk in her homework. She's such a liar. Mm -hmm. So now this word, yeah, invented, use the word make. Now Stella made up a story. Yeah, that's right. Made up a story. Julia? I admire people who are hardworking and strong-minded. I look up. I look mm -hmm. up to people who are hardworking and strong-minded. Okay, excellent, guys. Now you work together. Numbers three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, by mm -hmm. yourselves, and then we'll double check. Okay. Two, three minutes. Do it. Uh, so we should work together, or? Yeah, you work together oh, and discuss okay. it. Oh, yeah, okay. you can discuss. It's okay, guys. Come on, you just okay. do a revision. My sister said not to the no to the job offer because she didn't want to move away from home. My sister turned turned away. I don't know. Turned or turned up or turned away. Tur I turned turned, turned off maybe. Away. Okay, let's leave it for now. Okay, yeah, um, it's not easy to feel happy again after the end of re relationships. Uh, it's not easy to get uh, of the end of her relationships. To get over, get away, I get think. away, the get away. I think. I think it's get over because uh, it's like. To, to to continue your living happy, it's not easy to get over it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. My brother is always trying to make me look stupid in front of my friends. My brother is always putting me down. Mm -hmm. Put me down. Mm, putting me down. Ah, I need, I need one more tea here. Okay. So um, Amy keeps talking about the time I lost my world, and I want to forget about it. Amy keeps bring up the story about how I lost my world. Mm, yep, but I think it's continuous, so Emma keeps bringing up. Bringing up. Yep, I hope it's right. I really agree with Jason, we have such different views on things. I rarely see I try with Jason. See I to I and what do we have in the third one? My sister said not to the job. So my sister turned 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 off maybe. Okay, guys. So write what you think. Okay, uh turn it's turn. okay, but, but not uh but not yeah and past simple it's okay, but not off. Or we'll Done. come to the one. Yes, that's okay. Turn down the job. Mm -hmm. Refuse. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Yeah, that's right. Great. Putting me down with double T. You're right. Bring it up. Uh, C, I to I. Yes, that's okay. About turn down. Yeah, we know turn off the water, turn off the light. We can, they turned off the power. But when you refuse, from something, you need to turn somebody down. So turn the switch down, turn off. It's okay. But this one, look at this. Turn off to ref turn down to refuse an offer, request, invitation. So you don't want uh, refuse the request, invitation the same. Let's read the examples. Uh, let's go, Michael. They they offered her the job, but she turned it down. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia. I'm not going to turn down an invitation to go to 
to New York. Okay, Michael. Uh, Chelsea's already turned him down. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia. He. Julia, can you hear me? Oh, uh, no, yes. Something yes. says my internet, so. Mm -hmm. uh, he okay. turned down a job at an in investment bank. Mm -hmm. So, guys, let's have a quick look. What can we turn down? We can turn down what? An offer. An offer, a request, mm -hmm. yeah, invitation, mm -hmm. yeah. Turn somebody down when you refused his offer to marriage. Uh, can you make up one sentence with turn down? Any ideas? Michael, yeah. Uh, okay, I was offered a place at the Cambridge University, but I turned it down. But you turn it down. You turn yep. it down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Julia? Uh, I uh, turn down uh, my friend's invita uh, invitation. Mm -hmm. Invitation to where to go? Part two. To the, what? One more time, Julia. Julia, we can't hear you. Oh, maybe a yeah, bad internet. Okay, guys, thank you. Great. So now you remember what is it turned down. And let's have a look here. So <laughs> uh, we have to read it and fill in the fill in the complete the words with these complete the sentences. Oh my God, with these words, uh, Michael. What is it? Uh, it's read it. Guinea uh, pig. Guinea pig. How can we translate it? No, yeah, guinea it. pigs. Yeah. Okay, guinea pigs. <laughs> uh, Michael, do you have a guinea pig in Germany? Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> what about any pets like cat, dog? No, no nothing. Not at all. Okay. And do you want? Ah, uh, yes. Actually, I do want two cats. Oh, that's great. Okay, but maybe who knows? One day, yeah, you will get it. Julia, what does it mean, this word? Trials uh, tests. Yeah, we can say medical trials, medical tests. It's the same. Michael? Batch of eggs. Yeah, batch of eggs. It's like um, little quality of something. It means like uh -huh. astatak yeats batch when you say batch it's like astataka chivota okay and julia hatch hatch uh the chicken yeah is it a chicken, chicken. No. yeah but hatches it hatches from the egg it hatched oh, from the egg born from born from egg mm -hmm. born from yeah egg. Vulupitsa, yeah, we can say like Vulupitsa, yeah. Uh, so, uh, have a look about hatch. I want to show you, yeah, this is it. Uh, Julia, read the eggs. Uh, the eggs take three days to hatch. Mm -hmm. So, not only about birds, yeah, about anything you like. And the last one, Michael. All the chicks have hatched out. Yeah, that's it. This one, we don't need it right now. Okay, guys, uh, what about this task? Right now, I will give you, uh, you work individually by yourselves. Uh, let's do it in such case. I will give you three minutes. I think that's even two, two minutes for you. And you uh, have to choose the correct option. That's it. Oh, I forgot to ask you. What about offspring? Who is that? Do you remember? It's an American pop punk band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very cool, actually. That's that's re re a really cool band. I really like it. I remember only one of it. Offspring, it's like somebody's child or children. But we say that like humorously. Отпрысок. Наш ребенок, наша дитина, мой отпрысок, мой ребенок. Якщо це ми кажемо про... Uh, детail. 
птичек и так далее. Малыш э, животного, как бы там, ну, смотря кто там, да, a lion and its offspring. То есть лев и его детеныш. Детеныш, да? We say lion, yeah. детеныш. I remember yeah, so that the is... word odprisk, but uh, uh, I thought it sounds too strange to be true. <laughs> yeah, offspring, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like... yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, how do we say, wait a second. Uh, in Russian they say odprisk, potomak, detyshe, but in Ukrainian they say like nashadok, detyshe, priplit. <laughs> Приплит, it's, it's okay. Okay, потомок, приплит, нащадок, отпрысок. Да, we know this word, от, отпрысок. We, maybe we don't use it very often. Ребенок, the same. But uh, it's in very humorously way. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, guys, two minutes are for you. Uh, you do it in your exercise books. In two minutes, we will double check. Okay? So, this one is for you. I have a stopwatch. Let's go uh, two minutes. Do it. In two minutes, we will double check. Mm -hmm. Stop. Michael, I'm listening to you. Number one. Our? Uh, our immune system protects us from catching diseases. Yeah, that's okay. Julia, number two. Julia, I can hear you. Uh, scientists are looking for human genes to take part in trials for a new drug. No, not genes, but human. Mm. Michael, any ideas? Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs, yeah. When we say human guinea pigs, it's like Padopat Nekrolikov, like, like this one. But yeah, it's... Uh, let me see. How, how do they say human guinea pigs? Uh, yeah. I, I want to show you guys. Have a look, look. Yeah, make money as a human guinea pig. <laughs> so don't do that, of course. Yeah, it's not important. It's not so good for your health. But this is it, how you can make money. So if you trial, have you ever wondered where the studies occur? So with uh, Kaksamim, human guinea pig, it's an animal. But when we say human guinea pig, it's like you are like a guinea pig, okay? So, and this is an article, how, how to do that, what you want to do that, uh, and so on. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe we have like, um, uh, we have like a picture here. Okay, meaning a person, uh, Julia, can you read it? A person used uh, in a scientist test, for example, to discover the effect of a drug on humans. They are asking for students to be guinea pigs in their guinea pigs, guinea pigs, guinea pigs in their research into a common cult. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is it. Uh, Michael, your turn. Mm, and animals pass on their chains in the DNA? Mm -hmm. Julia? Uh, many songbirds lay their bench of eggs in uh, nest in April and their offspring hatch mm -hmm. soon after. Yeah, that's right. And the last one? Human beings have to attract mates in order to pass on the characteristics just as other mammals have to do. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. So, guys, now you know who, who are they, human guinea pigs. Okay. And this one, uh, yeah, it's the last one. Yeah, I think it's the last one. What you need to do, the same. Look at it. You do it together. You can draw. Yes, it's okay. You can draw like I do, not to type. Yeah. Be attentive. You don't need to change anything. You just have the words. You need to fill in the gaps. Okay. So you may do it one by one together and then we have three minutes and three minutes we will double check everything. Come on, guys, work together. Do it. Okay, so would you like to start or should I? Uh, I can. Um, mm -hmm. both what is shows two friends having a conversation in the phone in the first photo. There are two young women sitting outside uh, outside a cafe and talking. 
and talking um, judging by their expressions i would um i would say that they are having a serious conversation okay the woman on the left to be paying close attention to her friend because she's making good eye contact um the woman on the left uh, maybe appears must might uh like doesn't certain appears to be paying okay appears uh appears then i contact and she as if she ah, and she looks as if she's thinking carefully about what her friend is telling her mm, yep i think so she looks like the kind of person who is good at listening to people's problems mm -hmm. okay uh, i can't be sure nope i can't be certain i can't be certain but i think the two men in the second photo are at a party because they are holding drinks i can't be certain on it yeah. i might be um I might be wrong, but mm -hmm. it looks like one of the men is quite upset. Okay, they have had some kind of misunderstanding. They must have, maybe. Seems to be trying to explain something. Yeah. They must have had some kind of misunderstanding. Mm, uh he seems to be trying to explain something but his uh friends doesn't uh, seems to be interested in listening and it's and is looking at his watch okay so he could be too angry to talk right now or he might not believe what his friend is telling him Mm-hmm. And everything is all right, guys. I have no questions to you. Great job. So we did revision. Look at it. How many we revised today? A lot of things. Okay. Now let's speak. Today we have something new. We are going to start. What do you think? What's uh, the title of our new topic? What is it? Food of food. our new. Yeah, but what food? Healthy food. Health, yeah. So this one, the new topic we are going to discuss, it's about health, about health food, about health exercises. So everything, what you should to do to be healthy. So look at it. This is the eat well plate. It's a cool plate. So what does it suggest we eat most and least? Look at it. Julia, Michael, your ideas. Mm -hmm. So we should eat more vegetables, more fruits, mm -hmm. I see, mushrooms, even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Julia, we need what should we eat, eat the least? It's a perfect, it's the most of perfect things. It's a sweeties <laughs> and everything uh, sweet. Yeah, okay. Uh, Julia, what about you? Do you have a sweet too? Uh, yes, I like sweet too much and uh, really when I have a bad day and I know that I will have something sweet, it will do my uh, day a lot more better. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Michael, what about you? Do you have a sweet tooth or not? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh -huh. What food do you prefer to eat? Well, uh, I really like some vegetables or maybe meat i like meat mm -hmm. more than sweets so do you feel like a healthy person uh i try to eat healthy but mm -hmm. uh, it's not uh, it's not every day possible it's not possible every day yeah okay uh okay guys thank you julia how do we say that how to say that 
I love sweets so much. Yeah, so much or very much or greatly. Yeah, I love sweets greatly, but not too much. Okay, too much is not that thing. Uh, can we say Select. I'm fond yeah. of? I'm fond of. Yeah, I am into. I'm into sweets. I'm fond of sweets. Yeah. So when I am addicted <laughs> to sweets, but it's too much about that. Okay. Yeah, we can. Guys, right now, I'd like you watch the video. The video is very short. It's about eat well plate, about what you will need to eat to be healthy. So uh, let me find it. Yeah, okay. And to show it to you. So, oh, happy Independence Day, guys. I forgot to tell you. So, oh. what's the secret? Yeah, are you going to, I forgot to ask you, are you going to celebrate the Independence Day or not? It's just like the usual day for you. Michael, what about you? So, maybe yes, I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, Julia, how are you going to celebrate it or no? The Independence Day. I don't know really. It's important, but I don't know will we uh, celebrate it or no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. About me, I don't know. For me, it's like the usual day. I'm dreaming about to win the war, and maybe after that, I will celebrate it. But I know that, yeah, we have an Independence Day, and that's great. Okay. So, guys, uh, let's have a look about the secret behind optimum health. Watch it, it's very short, about 1 minute and 54 seconds. And tell me what interesting things have you known about it? What was interesting for you there? Okay, let's do it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, about, yeah, now it will be okay. Let's go. Today in this find out video, we are going to take a look at the Eat Well Plate. The Eat Well Plate is a visual representation on the proportions of foods needed for a healthy, balanced diet. The plate is split up into five sections to represent five food groups. One third of our diet should be from bread, rice, pasta, potatoes and other starchy foods. Try to include these carbohydrates at every meal. Choose high fibre or whole grain varieties as much as possible, as these usually contain more fibre, vitamins and minerals than the refined versions. Another third of our diet should be fruit and vegetables. It is recommended that we include at least five portions a day. To reach your five a day, you could have one portion with breakfast, two with lunch and two with dinner. You can add even more by choosing fruit or vegetables as snacks. Milk and dairy products should make 15% of our diet. We should include three portions a day. Examples are a glass of milk, a yogurt or a matchbox size portion of cheese. Low fat versions provide the same amount of calcium and are therefore the healthier option. 12% of our diet should consist of meat, fish, eggs, beans and other non-meat sources of protein. One portion could be a palm-sized piece of chicken, fish or meat, a handful of beans, nuts or seeds or two eggs. Try to eat two portions of fish per week, one being an oily fish such as salmon, mackerel, fresh tuna or sardines. Foods and drinks which are high in fats and sugars should be limited to 8% of our diet. Foods such as biscuits, chocolates, crisps, fried foods and fizzy drinks should be considered as treats and only eaten occasionally. Limit the amount of fat, oil and cream you add to foods because this can add a lot of extra unnecessary calories. If you enjoyed this find out video and want to learn more, register now for one of our free weight loss workshops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very, very fast. So, guys, let's, sorry, come back here. Uh, okay, uh, what about this part of the plate? What food is it? Do you remember? How do we say? How does she say? How did she oh. say? Star? Starchy. Starchy, yeah. So, these are starchy foods. What it means, starchy? Um, these are food that contains starch. Okay, I know it's not it's so easy. There is a lot of starch in potatoes. Oh, what is it? Yes, exactly. That is it. Starchy foods, so food which contains starch. Yeah, this is it. Krachmal. Okay, starch, krachmal. Okay, uh, what else? What was interesting uh, here for you? Michael, any ideas? Uh, 
Okay, the most interesting part for me was uh, that we need so uh, that we was that we don't need so much meat and fish. It was mm -hmm. like twelve percent, I guess. Yeah, I don't remember, but Nothing actually, like yeah, twelve percent. Mm -hmm. I don't really agree with this uh, eat well plate because um, every mm -hmm. person is uh, every person should have uh, their individual individual eat plan and uh, maybe when person do sport mm -hmm. and um, so live actively uh, they need more meat they need more fish because mm -hmm. uh, they need these calories so they need uh, I don't know how to say belog in English. Uh, mm -hmm. To build their muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Protein. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. they need to build their muscles and uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay, Juna. What about you? What it's was interesting was, there? It was strange for me that uh, we need milk more protein than. Uh, uh, protein because as I know a lot of people have an allergy in the <clears throat> protein which we have in milk and milk products and a lot of people uh, can't uh, uh -huh. just can't eat it and they have a lot of uh, bad things with their house if they have uh -huh. it in their in their uh, organism so it's uh -huh. a little strange so uh -huh. you, like said michael each person is individual and each person need to have his own diet and uh, eat uh, the uh, the food uh, uh, that will help uh, to feel better for uh -huh. this person Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh my God, you know so much about healthy food. Because <laughs> about me, it's, it's rather difficult. I don't know. I usually eat everything uh, what my husband uh, cooks for me. <laughs> because I work a lot. <laughs> Michael, what about your, uh, your meals? What do you usually eat a lot? Uh, okay, I, I eat what my mother cooks. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm too bad at cooking for now. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, I respect my mother because she cooks meat. <laughs> she cooks a lot of meat. And uh, so my food is pretty healthy, I think. I eat mm -hmm. uh, a lot of vegetables. I eat meat. I eat not too many milk products. But mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Julia, what about you? What do you eat more in your family? We eat everything which my mother cooked. Uh -huh. uh, but for uh, about me, it uh, seems to the season because in uh, summer I eat more vegetables, more fruits, uh, and uh, in uh, winter I eat more meat. For uh -huh. example, so it seems to my mood. It seems to the weather and a lot of uh, different uh, details mm -hmm. yeah it depends on the weather it depends on the season right not seems but depends on okay great uh look at this so we have this plate it's something it's almost the same but but different this is from the book uh what food do we have michael can you read and give me examples of this uh yeah Day dairy products Diary. 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 Okay. Wait. Oh, no. Wait. Uh, I, I I corrected you, but then, yeah, diary. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, what does it mean, diary? Diary. So, a like, book? like the school diary? No, not diary. No, <laughs> diary. It's a, it's a book. Wait. Sorry. Diary. Why? Uh, diary. Guys, because... Yeah, I misunderstood because diary I and A change. Diary. Yeah, Michael, sorry. It was it was my bad because I don't know, because I have a lot of lessons today. Listen. Dairy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and usually we say like dairy products, dairy food. What does it mean? Dairy. What are they? Examples. Really? Like um, uh, Julia, can you help us? What is a dairy product? 
in my opinion it the, it is about the products which we can eat every day like it's usual products something like this no 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 dairy products it's like everything what is made from milk so cheese milk uh what else yogurt cottage cheese Varok, yeah, everything what is from milk, what is made from milk. So dairy products, malochne produkty. That is it, malochne produkty, yeah, that is dairy, okay? So butter, cheese, milk, what else? Cottage cheese, everything. What is everything where you can find milk? That's it. Okay, Julia, go on. Uh, fizzy drinks. What does it mean? Give me an example of fizzy drinks. You know it. I think your brother uh, often goes uh, to the shop to Asarti and buys fizzy drinks. Uh, what okay. are they? Like cola, Sprite, like this? <laughs> exactly. That are the, uh, these are they. When we say fizzy drinks, yeah, it's liquid with bubbles. Fizzy water, or we can say like sparkling water. This is it with bubbles. Uh, uh, okay, we can say a fizzy. Uh, we can say a fizzy water. Fizzy water or a sparkling by air. Fizzy water or sparkling. Sparkling, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Uh, sparkling, yeah, sparkling water. Uh, spark in water, guys. It means like water with bubbles. Uh, ba bubbles, gases, bubbles. Yeah, we have sparkling champagne, for example. It's it's also okay. Uh, oh, let's let me show it to you. So, have a look. We have fizzy and sparkling water, Michael, and what else? Uh, still water. What ah, yeah, okay. Still water. Still yeah, water. just usual water. It will be still water, and this one, light or fizzy. Okay, fizzy drinks or fizzy water. Julia, what is it? Uh, a sweet, non-alcoholic drink with bubbles or gas. Yeah, and if you write like here, I don't know. so fizzy. champagne isn't a fizzy drink. Yeah, it's a fizzy drink. Oh, champagne, it has alcohol, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not a fizzy drink. It's a yeah. sparkling water. It's sparkling drink. So this is fizzy drinks. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sparkling. Spark. Sparkling. Sparkling. Okay, sparkling water. So sparkling water, sparkling wine. Yeah, because champagne, it's a wine. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Have a look. Sparkling wine, moet, or something like that. So it calls like sparkling wine, uh, champagne. I'm not sure about shim. Shim, this one. Yeah, the same. But look at it. They say something else. The best pink champagne. They just say champagne, yeah? Or sparkling wine. Uh, champagne is a uh, sparkling wine from this... Um small uh, from this of, region yeah, yeah from region champagne, <laughs> if it's in so. ukraine we always say champagne yeah. mm -hmm. but it's <laughs> yeah, sparkling that's, wine it's sparkling wine exactly yeah i forgot really michael thank you okay guys so that's enough yeah look at it new york times they say new york times 10 sparkling wines for living 2020 okay so if you want you can guys so you're not teenagers anymore that's okay you may drink <laughs> okay, guys, have a good day.